They're wild, dangerous, and on the prowl in a neighborhood filled with families. Wild dogs living in abandoned homes that could be a danger. Tried calling 911. They said they would send a, a car out to, you know, circle the area. But I'm thinking to myself, they circle the area, the dogs are on the inside. The dogs are in the alley. So if you're riding down Hill Street, you're not going to see them because it's full of debris. The dogs have just taken over a Highland Park neighborhood, and people living nearby are absolutely terrified. Been unable to get the city to do anything, so as you heard, they called Hank for help. Tonight, our consumer investigator, Hank Winchester, shows us what's being done to clean up that neighborhood and help those stray dogs. Hank? You can hear one of the dogs right now. They've been occupying this abandoned, blown-out house. People in this neighborhood concerned for their safety, and you can certainly understand why. They're on the prowl and hiding in abandoned homes in Highland Park. Stray dogs creating big problems. So this is what you walk with, hmm? a taser. Yeah, when I, yeah, when so, I call bath here. Yeah. Because of the dogs? Yes. Yeah. The dogs seeking shelter in these blown out houses, but they come out when they're hungry. I don't even know what they are, but they just vicious. Elizabeth my Howard called me for help. She has had enough. My granddaughter, she's terrified. She's like, Nana, you won't believe it. Those dogs are out there again. I said, I know. We're going to get some help and channel forward to the rescue. When we went looking for the dogs, we quickly discovered that we needed to keep our distance, and everyone out here seemed to have the same story. They're scared, and they couldn't get the city to take action. I'm hoping for Highland Park to resolve this situation. I called the city. Here's what I learned. Right now, Highland Park does not have an animal control officer, but that position will soon be filled. In the meantime, police responded to my call yesterday. Here's where things take a turn. We were told that when police arrived, one of the dogs became aggressive and had to be shot. But in a Facebook post last night by the Detroit pit crew, which took some of the other dogs, they said the dog died after being hit by a car. The dog came out and charged at the mayor and the chief of police and the officers, so they had to put the dog down. So I got to ask you about that, though, because yeah. according to Detroit pit crew, the rescue, yeah. they're saying that the dog was hit by a car. No, that's not. Neighbors out here are saying that the dog never made its way outside. Yeah, no, they the, So the I dog guess people charged. are asking why the dog yeah. was shot. Yeah, because he charged. Today, city crews were out there boarding up the abandoned homes, mowing the grass, making these streets safe. It seems like there was six other pit bulls, adult dogs, that was kind of roaming the area. And when an unfamiliar dog makes its way towards you, trainers recommend that you try not to make any sudden moves. Stay calm. If the animal attacks, fall to the ground, yell for help, try to cover the dog's face with a jacket or any clothing to distract them. Back here on the street, the immediate danger now over, the abandoned homes a little safer, the people living here able to go outside again. And we have more tips from the experts. Everything you need to know to keep yourself or your children safe from dogs that could be dangerous this summer. Everything you need to know will be posted on the Help Me Hank page at clickondetroit.com. I'm Hank Winchester. Help Me Hank. All right, Hank, if you have an immediate problem that needs to be addressed in the city of Highland Park, we're told you should call this number. 313-252-0050. Uh, that would be extension 258. 252-0050, extension 258. The other dogs are now being cared for by the Detroit Pit Crew Rescue. Head to the uh, Help Me Hank page on Click on Detroit, which is where you'll find more information about all the rescue groups that you can call in your area.